A federal judge says that an Indiana inmate convicted of murder in 2001 in Evansville has a right to get gender-affirming surgery. Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita believes this is not what the voters and the legislature wants. Eyewitness News Ben Walls spoke with him about what's next. The American Civil Liberties Union has a victory tonight. It's won its suit against Indiana, which said transgender woman Autumn Cordelione couldn't receive a gender-affirming surgery. Cordelione used to be known as Jonathan Richardson when she was sentenced to 55 years in 2001 for murder in Evansville. Though the General Assembly passed a bill banning these kinds of surgeries in prisons in 2023, the judge rules gender-affirming surgery is necessary for some individuals with gender dysphoria. Attorney General Todd Rokita, who just so happens to be in Evansville on Wednesday, is surprised with the decision. He says this goes against the state legislature and what the majority of Hoosiers want. He also says the surgeries come at the taxpayer's expense. State statute uh, seemed to me to be the right uh, answer uh, to that problem because, the, again, the people clearly don't want their tax dollars going for what they believe, and I agree with them, these nonsensical surgeries. Now, if someone really has gender dysphoria, there's, there's treatment for that. You don't have to affirm that disorder. The judge rules the DOC must provide Cordelione with the surgery at the earliest opportunity. Another action is also for certain. We're going to defend the people of Indiana. We're going to defend their elected representatives. And uh, you can, we're, we're still reviewing the opinion, to be clear. Uh, but you can undoubtedly expect the state of Indiana to appeal this decision. Reporting in Evansville, Ben Walls, Eyewitness News.